so it's Mickey and I'm here because I accidentally uh, deleted the intro to this video. <laughs> I just recorded it and I deleted the intro. So anyways, here we go. Um, <clears throat> basically, I've been, <clears throat> excuse me, I've been promising y'all that I would do a uh, Old Wives Tales um, vlog for a while now and now that the kids are gone, I have time to do this. And it's such a beautiful day outside right now, so figured I'd get some vitamin D in as well. So, um, I have made a board here, and um, you can see there's marks on that because I just recorded this video. <laughs> but anyways, anytime that I get an answer or a result of a boy, I will put it under the mustache. And anytime I get a girl result, I'll put it under the little uh, lips. So, yeah, um, I guess I'll just go ahead and <laughs> insert the rest of the video. Who knows better than that? So, anyways, here's my lovely chart. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and go just go down the list and start hitting things. I'll put marks whenever um, I give you an answer. So, the first one is the history test. Basically, this one says that you will go in order as your parents did. So, um... In my case, my family, um, it only works with, I think, three, the first three. So in my case, my parents had um, two boys and then me. So that would give me the result of a boy. All right, the next one is moodiness. If you are more moody now than you were before, um, <laughs> um, they're predicting a girl. And if you are more happy than moody, then you're more likely to have a boy. So for me, that would give me a boy result. I even asked my niece. I don't know if she was just being um, nice, <laughs> but she said I was more happy than I was moody, but she could have just been trying to flatter me so I can give her some sugar. Because <laughs> while they were here, they didn't get any candy. Um, okay, the next one is mom's beauty, which means basically girls will steal the mother's beauty. Um, I guess more breakouts and stuff like that. And a boy would, um, I guess either enhance or give the mother more of a glow. Um, I really haven't had any issues with my skin. Um, it's been a little dry just in this one spot, but I've always had that. And I don't think I've had anything different with my skin or anything. So I'm going to say glowing, which means boy. All right, the next one is a Chinese gender chart. Um, this one's pretty cool. This one's pretty fun. I went to several different websites. They all gave me the same results, but this one, uh, this particular website, I don't remember the name of it, um, gave me the cutest results. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the video of that one. Okay, so we're on the parenting.com gender, the Chinese gender prediction. So I'm going to go ahead and start. So it wants to know my age at conception, which is 31, and the month of conception, which was April. Oops. April. Predict. And eventually. There we go! It's a boy! <laughs> That's cute. Okay, so that one gave me the result of a boy. Alright, so the next one is um, the side that you rest on the most. Now, I am mostly, for the most part, I've always been a right side sleeper. I don't know what it is, but I just feel more comfortable on my right side. Um, I know on my apps it's saying that you should sleep on your left side more because of blood flow. Um, and so I've been trying to sleep more on my left side, but I always, you know, when I wake up in the middle of the night and stuff, I always realize that I'm on my right side. So that would be a girl result. Okay, the next one is headaches. 
basically this one is just saying if you have more headaches you're you're going to be having a boy and if you don't have any increased amount of headaches um, say that you already get headaches uh, or are prone to getting them before pregnancy um, and that just is the same then you're gonna have a girl now I've never been prone to headaches um, and I've been just crazy with headaches the past week so I'm gonna say that's a boy result for sure <laughs> all right the next one is the heart rate so um, this one says if your baby's heart rate is 140 and above you are going to be having a um, 140 and above a, a girl yes a girl 140 and below is a boy so if you watched my um, my video um, with my ultrasound that I had the heart rate was 168 um, when we did the Doppler the first time with the midwife it was in the 160s as well so that's definitely a girl result the next one is the ring test and this one basically says that if it goes in a straight line um, then it is a girl and if it goes in a circle that means it's a boy so I will show you video of my niece um, filming the whole um, ring test not to move. is it doing anything? it's swinging it looks like it's going in circles now no it's swinging back and forth it's a straight line? uh huh so the hardest part about doing the ring test was keeping my hands just perfectly still but in the end um, she was really thinking that it was going in a straight line so a straight line means girl all right the next one is the Mayan gender um, the Mayan tell so basically what you do is you're supposed to add the mother's date or age at conception which for me it would be 31 so 31 plus the year it's 2013 so that would give me 2044 so um, since that's an even number that's supposed to mean that I will be having a girl if it was an odd number um, that would mean that I was having a boy okay and last but not least is the um, the red cabbage uh, test? I told my niece about this one. She thought it was completely disgusting. <laughs> she was like, "That's so gross. You have to collect your pee," you know. And um, I did have uh, we ran out of pickles while they were here, so took off the label, and that's what I used to pour um, both the cabbage uh, juice and the um, the urine into. And I will show you the results. Alright, so that one gave me the result of a girl. Um, that's what we're going with. I know in both of the different lightings it was a little bit different. Um, when I had it right in front of um, my lamp, it was a... It looked more reddish. And when I had it in front of um, another light, it looked more purple. So we went with girl on that one. So basically... Oops. We are at a tie. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I, I guess we'll find out in a few weeks. Um, we are trying to save up some money to do um, the elective scan um, with a company, and um, we. You know, once we do that, then we'll, um, you know, we'll do the scan as soon as possible. Um, but if that's not possible, then we'll just end up waiting until the anatomy scan. And, you know, really don't want to wait that long, but it's whatever. So, yeah, that's it for me. Um, I hope you all enjoy this. And if you can think of any other wives' tales, just let me know. And I will try doing them. Um, 
we didn't do the Intelligender just because it was so expensive and I felt like um, these were free so there was no reason you know I paid what a dollar something for the red cabbage so <laughs> you know that was a lot cheaper than paying for an Intelligender but yeah um, alright that's it for me I will talk to y'all later bye bye